So now we have pretty much everything we need before we're going to travel. I have my garment bag, I have my carry-on bag, and my planner. I'm just going through and making sure there's nothing else that I need to do. But there is. A lot of airlines offer check-in early. So if it's the day before, I think you have about 24 hours grace period to go ahead and check in online. The reason why we want to do this is you never know how busy it is at the airport and you never know what traffic's going to be like. You don't know if you're going to, your ride to the airport is going to be coming through on time. So you want to make sure that you check in online if you have the opportunity. As a nurse and working in the hospital, it's very important to make sure that I'm on time and that I'm prompt and that I have everything I need together. So this is one way to make sure that you're on time and that you're prompt. Um, so here we are, the computer again. Um, we'll check online and see if you can go ahead and check in. When I do that, I go ahead and print my boarding pass if it allows me to. And when the boarding pass is printed, I go ahead and place it in this planner, which goes everywhere with me. It has all my confirmation numbers, and it has all of my contacts, the hotel's name and number, the contacts for the car rental place with the confirmation number. Um, actually, the plans for the trip, all in this planner. Now, once I have my plane ticket, or the boarding pass, then I'm pretty much ready to go. The night before, I just double check everything, make sure I don't forget my medications because those are very important in your carry-on and don't forget to have your cell phone for communication. Your, um, I have my stethoscope, which I'm not going anywhere without, just off of natural causes. And you're pretty much ready to go. You'll have a fun, safe, and very cost-effective trip.